Hello everybody. Today's video is going to be something a little different. I'm going to be showing you how I set up my bookshelves in my new house. So recently I moved from Mumbai to Singapore and since I couldn't bear to be parted from my books, we also shifted the books uh, from there and uh, they were quite a lot. So in fact, uh, we had 74 boxes of books that landed here and uh, you know, <laughs> it was quite a challenge to find the space and time to fit in the bookshelves and uh, arrange it and do everything as you know. Uh, so this video is just going to be, you know, a, sh a memory for me and also I guess something interesting for you uh, to see how I have actually made the space for them, put in the books and done everything. Uh, it took me about uh, two months to get the bookshelves fitted and you know put in the books and arrange them and everything in fact it actually took me about one month to do 90% uh, of the work and then we ran out of space so we had to get in get one more bookshelf and finish it up so uh, I hope you enjoy the video let me know how you find it in the comments below stay tuned hello everybody good morning usually i set up lights and do a lot of stuff before i shoot a video so this time for a difference i am just doing a completely impromptu shoot but there's something special coming up one of the reasons why i wanted to shoot a video today was to show you around my new bookshelf i shifted my uh, residence from mumbai to Singapore in the month of March and we had shifted just before the lockdown could begin in both the countries. At the same time that we were moving, just a couple of days before that, we had uh, shipped out our stuff. We had packed and things had left the house and they were supposed to reach me here in Singapore in about, uh, I think, in about a month's time. So. I was expecting my stuff in the month of April. However, um, as you know, both the countries went into a lockdown and uh, my things couldn't move out of Mumbai itself. So forget about coming here to Singapore. And after all these months, I think it's about three and a half to four months after that, finally now my things have left from there and they are going to reach here and today is the special day when they are actually going to be coming here. Wait, let me show you something. Uh, okay, I don't know how to change the orientation in this. So, let me just show you. I am literally at my window and I am looking at the gate and expectantly waiting for my stuff because it's it's been so many months since i've been parted from my books and uh, i'm really eagerly you know waiting to see all my books once again so before we go to that i wanted to show you that in anticipation of the books we had to of course create some place for them so we have picked up a few bookshelves and I wanted to show you the empty bookshelves because they're not going to be empty any longer once my stuff reach here. So let's go ahead and have a look at it. So welcome back. This is the first bookshelf. So all the bookshelves that we picked up, uh, we got it from IKEA and um, this is the first one. It's called a Regisor. It's got these huge full length glass doors and I'm really loving it. I'm just waiting to, you know, see what are the best books that fit in here. Now coming to the next one, this is a beauty. I know you're going to give a gasp. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm literally in love with this one. So it's called a Leotorp. It's um, also by IKEA 
it's got these half glass doors and half you know concealed cabinets which is very good because i have these photo albums art materials and uh, journals and what not stuff to put inside so i can use the last two shelves for that and the shelves above can be used for all my books so we have a couple of books here these are the few books we carried along with us when we came here so uh, this and i think there are some few more over here that's it so these are the only books that we actually could bring with us now it's coming back to the third bookshelf this is it <laughs> for the very first time i've picked up a bookshelf without any doors a completely open bookshelf and this is the uh, famous billy bookshelves of ikea in fact ikea says that they sell a billy bookshelf every 5 minutes somewhere in the world so yeah by the way these are three different bookshelves if you can see they are attached in between so there are three different bookshelves which we've gotten in such a way that it fits this complete wall and right so this is billy this is leotorp and again leotorp is also actually three different bookshelves uh we got them and we have fitted them over here you can see these nails so we got them fitted together and yeah i just l- simply love the vintage look of this i think my grandmother had a cupboard which was <laughs> pretty similar to this one so somehow i just love this and i'm just waiting to see how it's going to look with all my books inside i had to show you these bookshelves before <laughs> my a uh, books came in and before they got filled up it would be a nice before and after video i guess so that's all the books <laughs> and these are the rest of the stuff hi everybody it's been a week now and uh, this is how it looks hi everybody it's been 2 weeks and this is how the books look now as you had seen the packers had taken out the books most of the books at least from the boxes and put them into the bookshelves but we still have about some 12 boxes of books left apart from the books which you can see on the floor uh, we've arranged some of them there is my every man collection and it's proving to be quite a tough job a back breaking job literally but yes um it's strangely satisfying too i'm just wondering now how i'm going to get all of it done the boxes especially make me feel very intimidated hello everybody it's been 4 weeks now since my books came all the way from mumbai and yes this is a the situation there's still all these books that need to go in but see this isn't this looking great yeah so we've managed to get most of the books inside and uh, the bookshelves look amazing like i told you this is the leo tor by uh, ikea and uh, we've actually gotten three different bookshelves of the leo tor and if you can see that small uh, line over there yeah so that's where it's been connected to each other so these are actually three different bookshelves that are connected to each other and they look like a single piece and these many books are still remaining you have to see this okay the house is a bit messy and uh, i've not got around to cleaning it after the kids left for school 
but it's fine i'm just going to show you the books so this is the uh, billy bookshelf by ikea and yes so there's one shelf that's still empty and i'm wondering what to keep over there but otherwise we've got him most of them arranged and uh, so this is my these two are the signs rows so we have all our um, math and physics and science books over here so most of these books is what goes into my uh, research for the history series for children and uh, here are some of my kids books and this is his favorite it's the harry potter collection the illustrated harry potter collection we are eagerly waiting for the fifth book to come so that uh, the collection can grow more complete uh here are some more books and uh, hey here here are my books <laughs> i got a few copies uh, over here and uh, right so these are my writing books if you can see yeah and i also have another shelf up which also contains my writing books uh these are some of the kids books and uh, these are my current art books so um these are all some really really uh fantastic books maybe i should do a video separate of just my drawing books some of the best classics are here right now i'm learning from this book and uh, yeah so here it is and this is my drawing journals actually so uh as you know it's not just these two bookshelves there's one more that's kind of messy but i'm still going to show it to you so it's this one so this is the regisor bookshelf we have arranged a few of the things since there's a bit of reflection on the glass i'm going to open it and show it to you uh we've arranged quite a bit of the books but if you see the first row looks good the second row if you see this portion looks good i think arranging the books this way has not been a very good idea because the look of the bookshelf seems to have gotten messed up but then we have so many books so we didn't know what to do this is why we've gone ahead and done this but i think we will be rearranging this and making it much more beautiful uh the last two rows are still not arranged i have in fact some other uh, miscellaneous stuff stuffed over there plan to get it arranged soon and we have a lot of the kids books inside this if you can see and some of the classics are here but yeah all this is going to be rearranged i have my century trilogy of ken follett over here this is the fall of the giants it's covered and uh, you should see this this is my mother's ba literature textbook and it's got 20 short stories it's one of my favorite books which is why it has this uh important position in the bookshelf where i can easily access it oh uh, i know you can see those messy things over there too all that needs to be arranged and so does all this maybe i'm not sure but maybe we are going to need one more bookshelf and we found a place where we can put it and we're planning to put something similar to the layer top oh uh, let's see how it goes okay we'll keep you updated bye bye so this is how the bookshelves look now 2 months after the entire process started i must warn you it's not absolutely neat and clean but and not perfectly arranged too but yeah i've done whatever i could this one is probably my pride and joy in fact every morning when i just step out of my bedroom 
from there i have a direct view to this place and oh it just fills me with so much happiness i love this bookshelf i love how it's turned out and i love how all the books look inside this you know so yeah um that's my every man classic collection as i've told you this is the leotor bookshelves and i've got three of them and fitted them together and this is the regisor one oh uh, actually the uh, this particular bookshelf can take in i think about um not sure i think it's around 30 kg per shelf it can take in about 30 kg per shelf while this one can take about 35 kg per shelf and i could really find a huge difference in the sturdiness of the leotop when compared to the sturdiness of the regisa because you know having such uh you know what do you call it broad and long shelves but having such a uh, less capacity to take in weight is actually not a good idea uh we i have not arranged the fourth shelf in fact i've purposely left it a little blank here because i wanted some little space for it to grow if i end up buying any more books which i'm hoping not to because singapore does have a wonderful library system and you really don't need to buy any more books but let's see so this shelf actually consists of books which we've been currently le- reading and it also has some of the library books if you can see this yeah so can you see it's the library book so this is a library book and this is a library book <laughs> so that one's my husband's reading that so this is also a library book so yeah this one i picked up this one in the library sounds interesting oh uh, so this is how the regisa looks and um, apart from the regisa and the leotor we ended up buying the billy bookshelves too so the billy bookshelves are actually the most popular i think uh, ikea claims that a bookshelf is sold every 5 minutes or something somewhere around the world a billy bookshelf is sold every 5 minutes billy is quite good it's very sturdy it's very cheap it's very see these people have put a bulb over here oh god so anyway it's very good and uh, really really sturdy and kind of uh, i kind of like it you know but the only problem is that if you go in, in a place like singapore the books can get really dusty if you want get the billy which is without the doors but um, yeah let's see i don't know what to do about it i bought the ones without doors because i wanted to have a open bookshelf but now i'm wondering if it's a good idea or not so maybe if i find that i need to change it then i might probably get some doors and fit the billy with that meanwhile this is the new addition to the number of bookshelves that we have here we ran out of space and we didn't know what to do we had quite a lot of books left which had to find which we had to find a place for so uh i didn't i had actually this wall space over here and i wondered if it would be a good idea to get a bookshelf there and since i had liked the leotorp i was thinking maybe i can just pick up one leotorp and put it over here but then the problem is 
it's going to kind of compress if you just see this room it's just going to compress the entire space in this room and i am the it's going to feel a little i don't know clustered so we thought instead of doing that since this place was blank over here and this could actually serve like a partition between the you know the living room and the dining area or the books area whatever i, <laughs> I want to call it so we bought this one and uh, this is called as the kelax and uh, kelax can be open you can set it any way you like and it can you can leave it open like this or you can get doors for it and you have a various option for the doors too so we got two different ones so one was this xoxo and the one was a just plainly uh, closed one and we could put in a lot of the kids books over here so it's been quite of good it's been really good and uh, it's been easy for them to put in their books and take it out and at the same time i think somehow it doesn't really um make it feel too overwhelming kind of sets in with the entire decor of the house and yeah so that's how it's been and that's all the books inside thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it bye bye